Good afternoon. This is the Hot Stock video for Monday, September 25th, 2017. We're going to rock and roll through these. Rough day today in a lot of areas. But you know what? The market talks. We just have to listen. It's been given some telltale signs. The Dow's been leaving the charge. And today, just came down to the 8th day on a slight pickup in volume. Still hanging in there. That's only 30 stocks, though. Dow is 30 stocks. The S&P, the Spiders, 500 stocks. A little bit less strength with this. Been hovering around the 8th day. Lost it today on a pickup in volume. Just tells you to be careful. Contrast it. 8 day rising above the 8 day, 8 day rolling over below the 8 day. Now we'll take it really to the rough spot. The comp, 8 day rolled over, check this out. The comp, the NASDAQ stocks, the big NASDAQ stocks, actually loses the 8 here, loses the 20, comes down to the 50 day. Gross stocks are lagging, got to be careful. Boeing, we're in this stock. We picked it up right here, walking up the 8 day. These are hot stocks, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of them just for you. We sold some into strength. I always sell into strength. I know this. I'm not going to get the top. Give up on that thought. You're not going to get the top. The liars sell at the top. We can just get something out of the deal. We sold some into strength. We still have some. You can say, gosh, Pat, the market got killed today. Didn't you sell it all? No, you can't. Why? At least this is me. It's walking up the eight day, as I said. Until it loses the eight day, I can't sell it. I'll show you some other examples related to that. Baidu. Grinding up the 8-day, today lost the 8-day, on volume, sold, gone. We made a little money on the deal. Not a lot, but we made money. NASDAQ, 100, lagging. Look at that drop. That's awful. This is the NASDAQ 100. A lot of the max list stocks are in there. Look at that. Fell on heavy volume. Quiet, quiet. Fell on heavy volume. People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. They're selling. S&P 500, a little bit stronger. Contrasted, the NASDAQ 100, lagging. S&P 500, a little bit stronger, but fell below the 8-day on a slight pickup in volume. And now look at this, the small cap stocks, walking up the 8-day. Picture this, SSO fell, QLD fell, small caps, TNA, hit up, went up today. That's powerful. We'll have to fish in that hole and see what's there. But remember the M in mission. Or in canceling, the M is the market. You got to be careful. Apple lost the 50 day, dead meat. Heavy volume, we leave it alone. You say, oh, it might bottom here. I don't bottom fish. I buy strength, I don't buy weakness. I'll buy weakness in periods where stock is demonstrating strength. Right here, that could be a buy. Right here could be a buy. But here, no. Amazon, ragging down, nothing to do with it. Falling below, look at that, rallied up. We were in this, rallied up, fell, and you just get out and down below the 50-day, down below everything on a pickup in volume. Alibaba, we got stopped out of that on this day here. We bought it in here, grows up, loses the 20 today on a pickup in volume. We leave it alone. Facebook, you could post on Facebook that Facebook doesn't look good, but you probably get kicked off. We can't do that. Lost the 50-day today on volume. Not good. Google, languishing below the 50-day, the 50-day's fallen, till it moves above these lines, these tops here, which I have a limit alert set, can't do anything with it. Netflix, we, we let this trend up for us, we sold shares into strength, and we sold our last shares here. Now I'm going to tell you that, oh man, we sold up here. Nah, liars sell at the top. All we do is we try to catch a trend, when it finally loses it, you get out of your last shares. I posted in missionwinners.com, selling last shares. I posted that real time today, not after the fact, just to give people the heads up, I'm selling my last shares. And it fell on a pickup in volume. We'll leave it alone. NVIDIA, this was beautiful. We picked this up here, and we bought more here on volume. Look at the volume that day. It ran up. I sold some into strength. I always sell some into an emotional gap up. It's just me. I've seen too many profits disappear. Started to languish, pull down here a little bit. Told the group we're selling more off on mission winners. Gaps down. Sold a little bit, little bit more off. And I said, when it loses the eight day, we'll take the rest off. Well, this morning, it fell below the eight day. And I told the group, 
we're selling. So for the VIP members and mission winners, the rest is gone. We made a profit on it and it's good. We're out because right now, if we still owned it, we would have a loss instead of selling a portion of it up here and a portion of it here. Even selling right here, considering our cost was under what was right at 171, we're still selling it for a seven, eight point profit, seven point profit. I'll take it. Apple, dead. Or excuse me, Tesla, I'm sorry. This is a great study. I want to go through this. We pick this up here through that downward sloping trend line. And you can see the volume came into it. And we bought more right here. It's just simple price chart patterns. Right there, right here. It rallied up. And I told the group, we're going to take some off. And we did. Took a decent sum off right here. You can say, why would you do that? Oh, Pat, we, we sell at the top. No, that's a lie. There was a reason why I sold it here. See that right there? Look at this spot right here. Take that line going across right there. There was a double top. And I said, I'm going to take some of it off. And we did. When it lost the eight day, we sold the rest off. We're not going to get the top, but our average cost was here. These two prices combined, our average cost was around 361, and we were selling shares off for around 388. Do the math. We sold some at 388. We took the rest off right here around 367, losing the eight day, and it's good we're out. That was, oh, 40 points ago we were selling some. That's the way we do it. Square bought it, rallied up, took some off into strength, came down to the eight day, bounced off the eight day, still held it. Why? It's not closing below the eight day. Today it loses the eight day, and we sold the rest. People say, gosh, wouldn't it have been great if you sold up there? I don't know the future because if I go like this, I would sit there and say, maybe the next day it'll go higher. That's why you can't sell it all until you get the trigger. We got the trigger and it's gone. CF is a stock just going sideways. You know what catches my eye about this? It went up on really heavy volume and now it's just consolidating. I want to put this in perspective. Spiders are lagging. CF hanging up there. Right there, that little green hash, that's a limit alert. By the way, with the market getting kicked today and the NASDAQ down 56, this stock closed up today on a pickup in volume. We'll have to watch that. I'm going to lower that limit alert just to be ready for it. Right there. Just in case, CF. Would I go big? Heck no, the market's rough. You go smaller, at least I do. ESNT just going sideways. This was written up in IBD this weekend. Look at this baby going sideways. Fell today, not on heavy volume. Perhaps it'll lift through these tops at around 39.80 on volume. I'm watching it. LGIH, home builders, just going sideways. What catches my eye? This volume right here goes up, goes up again on a pickup in volume, and now it's just going sideways. Look at this. The market got hit hard today. This stock closed up on a pickup in volume. What do we do? We'll watch it. This is why we wait for triggers. This stock was basing nicely. Check this out. This was on my go-to list last night. Hot stock go-to list. Just basing right here on decreasing volume. I thought, if it takes out these tops and the market's decent, this is a buy. And I'll wait for it. Well, it's good we waited for it because they knocked the tar out of it. What do we do with it now? We're not in it. Thank heaven. We leave it alone. Stamps.com. It's on the bill list. It's on the 4045 list. Got a long channel up here. We'll see what can it, it can do if it can form a big cup, maybe a handle. What catches your eye on this? It fell on increasing volume today. It's down on the eight day. I have to wait for a clean and simple entry. I always share this and I'm going to tell you all again. A clean and simple entry will give you a clean and simple exit when you're wrong. It helps you limit losses. We strive for that. Sorry about that. I bumped the microphone. A thousand was lifting up, pulling back. Perhaps it'll lift off. One thing's the negative there, and you should see it right away. I could ask you, hey, what's the negative with it? Oh, well, Pat, it lost the eight day, and it did it on heavy volume. And I'd say, you're exactly right. We'll see what it does. If it takes out these highs in here on heavy volume and the market's good, we could do something with it. Teradyne, semiconductor. 
right up here, up here, fell on volume. It's a bit loose and choppy. I've got a limit alert set, but it's a semiconductor. That group is still strong. Brooks Automation, semiconductor, going sideways. We'll see if it can lift through there on heavy volume, but it's going to have to be a good pickup in volume. You could say, why would you say that? Because it fell on heavy volume today, but it's still above the eight day. Just a simple pattern here, pterodyne. Semiconductors, top 10 groups. ACLS, look at this baby. Gaps up, falls, bounces off the eight day, closes down, but very little. Leading group, leading stock, simple base. We'll see if it takes out those tops. If it does, I'll lower that alert just in case, just to be ready. Why, why? I had this on the list today. This was on my go-to list. You can say, boy, I'm glad it, you didn't do it. Yeah, because it go-to and went. It broke out and reversed. And somebody say, why wouldn't you buy it? Folks, we always factor market action into our decisions before we buy. The stock went up and fell. The market was rough today. Rough. Look at that. The NASDAQ comp gap down. Started to drop. I'm not going to buy a stock when the market's dropping. So I didn't do this and I avoided the pain. Always factor market action into your buying or selling decisions. Market's dropping. I'm not good enough to find the one stock that's going to go up when the market's getting hit. I just leave it alone. We stack the deck in our favor. PAYC started to lift off a couple of days. The M and Mission can do this to stocks. And today, I put this out in the Mission Room today. By the way, that's missionwinners.com. That's our own site. And we have videos in there, like you're seeing here. We also have a go-to list four nights a week, the stocks that I'm keying on. And the other thing I like to do is I will tell people what I'm going to buy, and they know it because it's on the list from the night before, before we do it. I don't sit there and say, oh, I'm in it. It's like, well, where the heck were you? I also think it's very important. If I'm selling something, I point it out before I'm selling, just to give people a heads up. I think it's the right thing to do. Paycom, rough here, nothing to do with it, got loose. Leave it alone. Splunk started to go up, and then the M in mission, the M in canceling, they took it down on a slight pickup in volume. Just needs to settle down. There's nothing there. Solar Edge. Now look at this, folks. Look at this baby going sideways. You see that clean shelf there? Remember, a clean and simple entry will give us a clean and simple exit if it's wrong. If it pushes through here on heavy volume and the market's decent, perhaps this baby will lift off. Now, i got to tell you something else really neat. Look at the volume that day when it went up. They voted there. You can say, oh, Pat, that was a bad day there. It fell on heavy volume. Folks, that's that bar right there. It closed that day at 26.90. The previous day, it closed at 26.95. This down day, it closed down a nickel. It wasn't that bad. Now, am I telling you to go buy this? No, I'm not. I'm saying if the market's decent and it goes across these tops on a pickup in volume, it's something that we're looking at. Solar Edge, by the way, top 10 groups. Top 10 groups. Leading groups, leading stocks. Redfin, looked like it was going to take off today. Reverses down. Decent base. You could say, wow, did you buy it? No, the market was rough today. If the market's rough, I'm not buying. We wait. Last one, NTNX. This would look like it could go, lifting off, all right, and then today gets ragged. It's real choppy in here right now. I'll tell you what, I really need clean and simple. This is just a good view of the hot stocks and stuff we key on. I wanted to share it with you. This is for everybody. I hope it helps you. Our goal is this. I want to educate you. Yes, do I want you to make money? Oh, you bet I do. I want you to make money, but you know what? Knowledge is power. By studying charts and studying chart patterns, we educate, we train our eyes, and we train our mind. This is a final thought for you. I want you to think about this. You think about people like Ed Sakota, Bill O'Neill, Nicholas Darvis, Jesse Livermore. What did those people do? They studied past chart patterns. They studied them. 
They learn from them. And that's what we're doing here. We're studying current, kind of related to the past, but we constantly study chart patterns. It gives us the, the knowledge that other people don't have because they haven't studied it. And that's part of our mission. That's what we're after. Mission. Markets, industries, sectors, stocks, institutional support, outstanding. You could say, what do you mean by outstanding? Outstanding product, outstanding service, outstanding man management. You could say, Pat, what do you mean by an outstanding product? I'll give you one. You're going to do an internet search. You don't use Bing and you don't use Yahoo, you use Google. You're going to rent a movie online, you're going to go through Netflix. You're going to sit there and buy something online, you're going to go through Amazon. Social media, Facebook. You go with franchises. That's what we're keying on. I just wanted to share this with you. This is the Hot Stock video. I hope this information helps you. If you got any questions, you can sure message me. I'll be glad to answer them. My goal is to educate you. It's to inspire you. Let's take this to the next level. And I hope you all have a good night and a safe night. And I thank you.